everybody, it's Tiffany from Tiffany's Paper Shop. I'm bringing you something a little different today because I haven't been able to do my regular Tuesday morning haul videos because their trucks come in from Texas and with all the big crazy storms in Texas and the power outages and everything that's going on there, their trucks have not been able to get out the last several weeks. So, I am making cookies for a baby shower and I thought I would show you a little bit. I've been making cookies for, oh, maybe seven or eight years. Just gotten more serious about it the last two or three years. So, I have this cute stencil that goes with this cookie cutter shape and I will link them below where they came from, but Anyway, so I do trace the outside of the lettering, and I have I, I probably about a 20 second icing here. You just wanna kinda hold it up a little bit higher. I need to get my glasses and follow along. It's like you're pulling a string almost. We want to let that string just lay down. I hope you can see it. It's really hard for me to get my hand at an angle where it's not covering everything. And then I just fill in. This is the cute, trendy, like calligraphy style lettering. Just fill it in. And if your frosting is the right consistency, it's going to just lay down really nice. Um, you do occasionally get bubbles when you do something thick like that, so it's a good idea to just use your little pokey tool <laughs> and just poke it through there a little bit. Okay. And then touch down when you're when you're finishing up. And I'm going to fill in that a little thicker right there. You can. These are quite big letters. If the letters are a little smaller, sometimes I will just squeeze harder like that and just fill in, you know, a larger section at a time. But when it's when the letters are this big, I prefer to go back over it a couple of times. Let's see, I missed something here. I'll just try to ad lib. <laughs> okay, and then I need to go back and finish my A. Hope my hand isn't completely in the way here. It's a little bit tricky holding it at a funny angle like this. But this is so just satisfying to me. It's like therapy almost. Except when I'm trying to get, you know, a big batch finished for someone that has to be finished at a certain time. And yeah, you want to make sure you have plenty of time to work on something like this. And I did, let's see, I did also use a stencil on the background to do the plaid. I usually do a gingham for this one, but that requires two layers that have to dry in between each layer. Two layers of the, the air gun color. So, I was trying to make it a little bit more simple. And then touch down when you finish. And I do use, uh, I'll show you the pen I used to trace the 
You can get these on Amazon. It's food art pen, and it's a silver gray color, so it doesn't show up too much if it looks like a pencil, I guess. It doesn't show up too much if, you know, you don't quite get all your lines totally covered. So, just like that. And then I put it in the in my dehydrator for about five minutes for something like this. And it helps it stay a little bit more shiny. Oh, I didn't poke. I was too busy talking, but hopefully I won't get any little craters. It's kind of questionable to go back over some of these letters because they're probably getting dry and I might leave <laughs> little bumps which won't look super great. Sometimes um, when you pipe over a pattern that you've done with your airbrush, your air gun, you can see that the frosting will want to follow some of those little lines, so that's a little bit annoying, but you can kind of try to clean it up a little bit if you want to go back over it with your little pokey tool, but yeah, that's a lot more time than you might want to take. Anyway, that's my baby word cookie. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.